Once you go in there right. court and you traverse as a fiction, let's say you traverse as a defendant, then there's really nothing you can do to reverse that standing. In other words, you're you're the defendant no matter what. Or, no, no, no. Or, but, right. You got to me the easiest way to do it is that you would have to try to put in that there was an error for you answering into the case in the beginning with that you made a mistake for answering as the defendant because you did not have the, the capacity or you did not you did you were not the defendant you just came you just been made aware holy cow I'm not the defendant holy cow I'm sorry I wasted this court's time energy and effort okay. that's what I said to the other guy when I wrote that apology letter that he was apologizing like to the IRS and US Marshals service he said what he threw me in prison no dude you threw you in prison Correct. no I didn't yes you did they, they they've been they've been dealing with you for how like a year and a half two years believe me there's plenty of times ample opportunity that you could have put before them that you are not who this this person is this fiction is this this character is this fact you had plenty of ample, ample opportunity to clarify it to them but you never did is that an error or is that a um, is that actually an error, or is it a yeah. what was the other word we were using? I'm trying to remember how exactly how I worded it from, but I said uh, then uh, I'm trying to say, I'm trying to remember how I worded it exactly. Is it an him. error or a wrong, or does it matter? Uh, no, wrong is when you know wrong is when you knew the right thing to do, but with you know you intentionally went out to do what you knew was not right. Right. So where an error is an honest mistake. Yeah, it was just you know, it was just right. He, you know, he was he was right. I'm trying to remember exactly what I I wrote it for him, but I'm trying to remember. Let me see if I can go find it real quick. Okay. I just had to put a had made a, a chicken. I had to put it up so the cats don't get it. So let me see. Uh, what up? But yeah, like I said, what I basically I remember what I said to him is that uh that he's just became you know like he was he's now he's aware, you know that uh. Let me see if I can find it. I think it was called letter number one. I think it was letter number one. Oh, man, like I said, he was not happy when I read that letter. Yeah, he was who not was happy. happy. The prosecutor, the judge, or who? who oh, the, no, the guy, that I wrote it, the guy I wrote it for, he was like, holy cow, man. He's like, uh, you know, they put me in jail. They did this to me, and they put this. Uh, oh, right. They, they, well, they tortured me. And, we all volunteer to go to prison. Right. He said, oh, they did this, they did this. I said, dude, your name's the only name on that order. So, uh, yeah, right here. This is. I'm trying to remember if this is exactly what it was. I said, on or about, you know, July 3rd, 2013, I, the defendant, made a wish to possess, maintain, and requested the immediate placement of an article known as a home monitor ankle bracelet to be bound to my person in concurrence with the go-between agents of the United States of America said plaintiff. So what I was basically saying that right there was just like, I, a defendant, made a wish to maintain and possess an ankle bracelet, and I wished for it to be bound to my person, and we all agreed, the agents of the United States of America agreed on behalf of the plaintiff that I be bound so. And then I said, Sorry. upon said date, or then upon said date, you know, it's my belief that it would be of a benefit to I and my person if I were to claim a vested interest and or ownership of and or the stewardship of said article. So see, at that date, back on July 3rd, I thought it would have been a great benefit for me to be bound. And so you're I acknowledging probably, yourself as the defendant out of the gate there, right? You didn't know, you, in other words, you didn't begin the letter with I, a man. No. You said I, I as a defendant. defendant. Right. I so you're recalling the past. You're basically just clarifying the past. The past right. The past right. At, at, at one time, at one time, I believed I was a defendant. At one time, I thought it was a great benefit to be the defendant. At one time, I thought it was wonderful. At one mm -hmm. time, this was the most lovely thing I could possibly imagine being called. Mm -hmm. And then I just said, at this present date, I claim to maintain constructive possession of said article. Constructive possession just means that I have possession. It's just a constructive trespass. It means that at one time, uh, I allowed you onto my property, but now it's a constructive trespass. Yes, I invited you. Yes, you were my guest, but now you refuse to leave, so it's a constructive trespass. Is it a trespass? Yeah, it's a constructive type. You know, I made a mistake, so it's a constructive possession. Now, is that yeah. something that you would – would you initiate that by sending it directly to those men, or would you just want to go and make a claim in court? No, no, no. You always give them notice, fair warning. You know, you try to give them, let them know that 
It was your mistake, dude. Make a claim uh-huh. against who? A claim against yourself? What, are you going to make a claim against the defendant? That sounds kind of silly. you got to understand that all the stuff that's going on in court, it's all because of you. Those people just show up 9 to 5, they're punching a clock and going hell home. They don't, they don't give a fuck if they get hired tomorrow by Dunkin' Donut. If they paid them twice to pay, they're going to manage Dunkin' Donuts across the street. Right. They're just there for right. a they, they have no, They have no agenda there. They, they can pay. Believe me, if they weren't getting paid, they wouldn't show up. Sure. They're doing, it, they're doing it for paycheck. So like I just said, I said at this present day, I, con- I claim to maintain constructive possession of said article. A constructive possession is just like a constructive trespass. At one time, I allowed you on my property. Now, when I thought at 5 o'clock, you want to go to hell home. Not only did you not go home at four, 5 o'clock, you're still here. It's a week later. And that's basically what I said there. Not at one time that I believed that it was a... a a constructive possession. At one time, I believed it was in my best interest to possess this thing. Not only do I believe it was stupid of me to possess this thing, now, you know, this thing is, a, a constru- like I said, a constructive trespass. Now I wish this thing to be gone, but it won't leave. Not only did I, at one time I thought this was a wonderful thing to possess a home ankle bracelet monitor, but now, hell, this thing won't get the hell off of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's what I was just saying, it's a const- now I claim to maintain a constructive possession of said article, and I, as a, at this date, August 16th, in hindsight, believe I erred. There you go, that's the word I used, erred, E-R-R-E-D. And I believe I erred back on July 3rd, 2013, for I believe I was in a state of disequilibrium incapacitation to have made such a wish for the go-between is to bind my person with said article. So today, August 19th, I wish for the immediate removal of said article from property and I. So there you go. So see, he made a wish for an immediate removal of said article from property and I. So not only does he want it removed from the, him as a man, but he wants it removed from his person in a two dimension. He wants it removed from his property, everything that he claims that he only has exclusive right to enjoy property and I. When it's I, it's the man. So that's what he went then from this date after, whomever he or she, she saith said article is to remain about thy person, will be the causal agent of trespass to property, and will be held liable for monetary compensation for damages. So I said from this day forward, August 19th, whoever comes and says that that, says that, that article is to remain on my person, on my property, will be the cause of trespass to my, I and my property, and will be held liable for compensation. There you go. So that's how simple I made it. I mean, it's, it's a lot nicer worded than that. And the punctuation and everything is fucking scary as shit. But uh, believe me, man, when the attorney got that down there, down there, man, they were pissed. But then, like, he really effed up by uh, making a second letter that he decided to do on his own. On the second letter he decided to do on his own. He says, well, I want their names. I want their numbers. I want their badge numbers. I want their employee IDs. I want their addresses. And I say, like, holy shit. Dude, the first letter said that you bear full liability for the defendant and all the acts that you did on behalf of the defendant. Now you're saying somebody else did all this. Which one is it, dude? Your first letter is completely backwards than your second letter. I said, why in the world did you put that out there? I said, I know why, because you're a vengeful person. You want to seek revenge on these people, and you want to sue them. Because you believe they've done you wrong, when the whole time it's you that's done wrong. He said, well, I know it's Susie and, 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 and Bobby that did this to me, and little Timmy did this to me. He said, dude, what happened to this Susie, Timmy, and Bobby been reassigned since July? What happened if they're not working at Dunkin' Donuts because they got paid a million dollars a year to manage Dunkin' Donuts? Bobby, Susie, and Billy did not do this to you, dude. Your name is the only one on that GPS unit order. I don't see anybody else's name on that order but yours. I said, read the damn order. It's the same thing with you with that task. Read the task agreement. I don't see anybody else's name on task other than yours saying that you'll appear. And you're the one who did not appear. And you're the man who said that I was going to be held liable for all the acts of the defendant. That's why you're held in contempt. Because the defendant is a little incompetent three-year-old. So somebody, daddy, is going to have to be held liable for the actions of the three-year-old throwing a lock through the window. Daddy's the one going to jail for a little three-year-old throwing locks through the windows. Not the three-year-old. You ain't going to hold a three-year-old off the jail. That's ridiculous. You're not going to hold a defendant off the jail 
you're going to hold a man off the jail. So that's why I kind of like how some of those people do when they go to court and they try to throw the old uh, birth certificate up there. I say, there you go. There's, there's, the, there's the fiction there. there. There's the defendant. That's the best part of the defendant you're going to get. If you think I'm going to be held liable, you think I'm going to put my body up. Oh, no, no, no. I got this article uh, called the birth certificate. I believe it's got just this, as whatever value that this court is seeking. I hope the court can get it out of this piece of paper because I'm not putting my, my body up for this. It's like saying a bondsman. A bondsman's like saying, I'm not going to go to, uh, I'm not putting up my body for, uh, to bond this guy to jail, but what I will do, I'll put up a piece of paper. I'll pull the Federal Reserve notes and I'll put them up for the release of this defendant. But is the bondsman actually going to put his body up? He's like, oh, no, no, no. But I'll put up notes. I'll put up IOUs. I'll put up security, I'll put up, you know, security instruments. But is the bondsman, you go to Chico's bail bond, is Chico going to put up his body? If the defendant, uh, you know, if the defendant doesn't show up, no, he's going to put up some sort of a security instruments. So I think it's kind of funny when people go to court and they say, hey, well, this is a security instrument. This is a, uh, this is a birth certificate. I hope you get some value out of this thing. I hope it's worth something to you. Is that going to cover, the, you know, uh, the bond or the, the you know, for the... Uh, to, to get this guy out, the, you know, for the defendant to be uh, released, or the charges to be dismissed, to drop, it's pretty funny. <laughs>